This model was asked for at a teacher workshop yesterday, so I thought I'd make a short video. File Notes has this model uh, location at the bottom of the screen, rhino3du.ning.com if you'd like a copy of this model. And also the notes themselves are filled out to give you the step-by-step -step procedure on how to make this model. We're going to use the Rotate 3D command several times. And the first thing I'm going to do is just have you watch for a moment what happens to the green piece that's now selected. And after it's rotated 90, I'll undo that. And then we'll spend our time on the remaining pieces of the box. So the agenda here is to practice with Rotate 3D and with the Move command. We'll close notes here in a moment and we'll proceed. I'm going to select the red piece and then I'm going to select from the transform menu rotate 3D. I need to select the start of the rotation axis. It'll be the end of that little chunk and the other end of that little, I guess it's a chunk, maybe it's a puzzle piece. But rotate, rotate 3D allows us to establish the axis of rotation by making two picks. And when you make those two picks, that is the axis that that piece will rotate around. In this case, rotate 3D, the end here, followed by the end there. Type the rotation angle, followed by enter. Now in all cases I have the end object snap on and that's important in this case. You want to make sure you attach to things you can see so your object snap end is the perfect tool for this. So we'll move the red piece in. We'll also use the end object snap where you can best see the ends that you want to choose. So we'll move this from here to the location on the purple. We'll now select the cyan colored piece. We'll run the move command again from an endpoint here to an endpoint on the red. And those are the from point and the to point. So watch this orange piece. We'll move from the lower left corner. We'll move to the lower right corner on the purple. where you can best see. And the other nice thing about what we're doing here is it's all happening in the perspective view. We do not need to move to the other viewports to get our C planes correct for moving because we're using move, excuse me, for rotating or moving. Moving because we're using an endpoint object snap and rotating because we're using rotate 3D. We establish the revolve axis. This green piece needs to be revolved 180. In all cases I've typed a number and I've followed it by enter. I would recommend that your students if they tend to make a negative 90 or a plus 90 error, in other words it rotates in the wrong direction, that they use the undo command. By the way that is controlled by which point you pick as the first point for your revolve axis. That will be determining whether you'll go a plus 90 or a negative 90 when you put in your revolve axis.